Hi there, welcome to this eTool video on filling out our project detail request spreadsheet. Open the spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel and there's some guidelines at the top. Um, in summary, these darker green cells here are really important for us in order that we understand um, or can provide you with an accurate and, and cost effective LCA. The light green ones help us to do it more comprehensively uh, or faster, which potentially will lead to a cost reduction for yourself. So I'll run through this pretty quickly. Most of these cells are quite self-explanatory. Um, yeah, the postcode is quite important. It allows us to calculate accurately the transport energy of your materials and your trade stuff. Project categories quite self-explanatory. In most cases, there's drop-down boxes that prompt you. With the design status, um, preferably we'll pick up your design in the early stages so we can make recommendations for you that uh, allow you to improve the design. Expected occupants, I guess this is quite important because it allows us to what's, what's called normalise different building sizes and, and give a fu an accurate functional unit from which we measure the carbon emissions. So in this case, functional unit may be occupants, so carbon per occupant per year, for, for example. If you have more than two buildings, please give us a call and we'll run through this process with each building over the phone or we'll have a meeting with you in order to gather the data. Uh, the first, uh, for say for example, building number one here, I'll run through this pretty quickly. Most of these drop down boxes are quite uh, self explanatory. Um, again, filling out the uh, occupancy. The fully enclosed building area, that might be another functional unit that you use to compare buildings of different sizes. Um, and just running through this quickly, it's, it's, it's very self-explanatory. Um, the expected construction time, that allows us to cross-check um, uh, the amount of trade staff and, uh, and assembly energy that we've actually attributed to the design. Um, the amount of rock or soil fill that's quite carbon intensive to move large um, volumes of soil um, off and on the, on the site so it's, it's good to understand that impact. When you get down to the um, actual construction characteristics um, again it's quite self-explanatory. Um, try and fill this out as accurately as you can. If you do know the quantities it really makes life a lot easier for us. If there's more than one wall type or floor type, just fill it out accordingly. Um, and we'll just race through this. It's all should be very easy to fill out. If you don't know um, some of the details, leave it blank and, and, and we'll catch up with you via email on the phone in order to clarify. With the operational energy use down here, um, this may be a little bit more complex for some people, but again, it should be quite straightforward. If you don't know anything, just leave it blank and we'll catch up with you about it later. Um, this allows us to estimate the energy use over time for the building. If you do have a thermal performance um, uh, assessment completed for your initial design, that will be helpful for us. Otherwise, we'll make some assumptions about it with, uh, after some discussions with you. Um, and uh, furthermore, if you actually know the specific cooling load and heating load, that allows us to plug that straight into eTool. If you'd like us to do a thermal performance rating for the building, we can do that as well as part of the service. Um, and energy monitoring, which can really help reduce um, the uh, occupant's energy use during the life of the building. Before sending it to us, um, just, just attach it as an email and also attach any um, thermal performance reports that you do have. Most importantly, the design um, and also if you have a bill of quantities, um, please attach that and that should give us enough information to complete the LCA for the building. Thanks for that and good luck.